Hey Leo. I'm sure with your messages. You know what? Hold on, I'm like my other deck. Okay, Leo. I'm back. So I hope you guys are doing well, Leo. Um, we're gonna get into some messages. I do feel like there's a lot of layers to your to your messages that's gonna be coming out. If you are interested in a personal session, you guys, my link tree will be in the description along with my email address. You guys can email me any questions that you may have. I mentioned to you guys a million times that I do one question for free. Now, when you go to my link tree, it's going to say $7.77 to ask one question. That is optional. That's like a donation. I have to go up there and tweak that. But yeah, you don't have to. Just for a question. A question is not a long, drawn out, like, a question to where I'm going to have to give it to you in layers, you know what I mean? But use your um, use your judgment, okay? Okay, what are the messages for my beautiful Leos? We have sit with your soul. Messages for my Leos. The journey is within. Remember, Leo, this is about you. This is not about anything else, anyone else, Leo. What's the messages for my beautiful Leos? You guys have a lot of red and a lot of orange. This is sacral and uh, yeah, this is sacral energy. A lot of creativity, a lot of birthing time. It's birth it's time to birth something. It's time to give um, birth to this. What is one more card for my Leos? Okay, two. No, one more card. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Leo. <laughs> Be like, oh, one more card. Okay, so we got peaceful reflection, and then we have showing strength. Allowing your perseverance, allowing, remember, Leo rules the heart, right? So that makes sense that that is at the bottom of the deck. This is also showing, too, the sun card, which is your card, right? So some of you guys may want to, and this may be for like a Leo or two, um, some of you Leos may want to control how you give or control how you show up or show love to people, right? If that makes sense. But anyways, the journey is within. So you need to understand that this journey is about you. This is not about anyone else. As you journey, you love, you learn, you grow, you heal. You understand that more and more that it's about up in here. And everybody is a reflection. Everybody that divinely comes into your path, everybody that divinely is put there by happenstance is there to ascend you. Yes, they're on their own ascension journey, but it's about you. So it's only so much uh, emphasis you should put or can put on what someone else got going on because it's all about why Okay, you're standing up in your full potential. They want you to gravitate. This is leaving the Depths. What did it say? The peaks and valleys. We're leaving the peaks and going to... No, no, no. I'm sorry. Scratch that. We're leaving the valleys and going towards the peaking. So you guys are peaking. Some of you guys have been in the valley for a mighty long time because you had you had some clearing. You had karmic work. You had shadow work, whatever in case you want to name it. You had a lot of deep, dark, 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 dark stuff that you guys had to do. You had to cleanse it up. You had to clean it out. And now it's time to grow and fulfill. You've done this. You set with your soul. You went deep, 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 deep diving. Like, what's his name? I can't think of his name. And now you're ready to grow and fulfill and expand. Now, as you grow, fulfill, and expand, and they're wanting to pay attention to all the downloads and all the stuff that came to you while you was in the valley and bring it up to create. You see, bring it up. You okay, guys, time to get it up. Somebody needs to get it up. Okay, we got soothing the fight. Yep, somebody needs to get up. Okay, because they've been they've been in their head space, they've been in their emotional space for a long time. They're trying to see this from a very high, like that bird, very high perspective. They're trying to see everything that they need to see and understand everything. Somebody needs. Somebody is double. Like somebody got a lot of air energy. Okay, somebody got a lot of air placements because they need to see everything clearly. Like it has to be like with some TVs, like like a real clear screen TV mode. 
Like they need to understand, right? Because they, they want to fulfill their purpose and what they're here to do and what they're here to complete. And so they spend enough time getting in touch and tapping into their emotional world, not just being up in here. They know they have to be very intentional or I'm telling you, you need to be intentional when it comes to going within and tapping into that emotional place instead of just being all up in here. Okay, Leo? Because sometimes you can might come off like a page when you really are an empress or an emperor. Because you need to be up in that, you need, like, listen, an emperor, an empress has mastered everything. They have went through it all. And you have Leo, whatever Leo is resonating with these messages, you have been through it all. But you are moving like a page. How can you move like a page? How can you discuss things like a page? How can you, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe you gravitate towards pages because you have ascended too high. And you need to talk in like, you need to be, you need to be that page. If it's not fake and it's not funky, it's just what it is. What's the messages for my Leos? No more page. No more page, Leo, with your kind hearted ass. Whatever Leo it is, you're trying to make somebody because somebody is kind with you. You can be kind, but still be in your authoritative energy. You can be kind, but still be sweet. And I mean, you can be kind and still be sweet. But you also need to graduate your ass up, okay? There's too many arrows going up. What's the messages for my Leos? We have temptation. Somebody might be tempted by you. Somebody may see you as a, as a temptress. You might be a little bit of a temptress, Leo. Rejection. Somebody's scared of rejection. This could be you. What's the messages for my Leos, please? We got love. Yep, this definitely has to do with love. Somebody sees you at school like they're learning from you. They're, 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 you go to work, you walk into work, and they're watching you. They're doing this. They're, they're watching you. They're scoping you out, Leo. What's the messages for my Leo? Messages that Leo needs right now. What's the messages for my Leo, please? Ooh, Ooh good catch, Kim. We got to pay attention to the signs when it comes. This has to do with your creativity. That growing fulfilling has to go wherever you're going. This has to do with love. This might be you scared of this. What's this soothing the fire? Thank you. We have, uh, this has victim consciousness. You soothe yourself. You, 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 you like this. You should be like this. You should be like this. You should be sitting in your authoritative energy, okay? With your authoritative ass, Leo. What's this peaceful reflection? This peaceful reflection. We have home. Yeah, going, you're here. Remember, home is in, is in you. Home is first within you. And then we have to discover your life purpose. You have some things that you need to peek out, some things that need to go. But these things are going to take patience. And it's going to take allowing change to happen. And how teachable are you? To complete these uh these things that needs to go on because the change brings on some sadness because you have to you had you've had to or you need to release so much Leo and I and I get it that's why it's been so much shadow work because it's so much Leo that you had to let go you are a fixed sign and I am a leap in a Taurus okay so I get it people who are Leo Scorpios Aquarius and um are Leo Taurus I mean, what Leo, Taurus, Scorpios, and Aquarius is, are the most stubborn. But when be, because of that stubbornness, that's, that's what makes us more successful in our endeavors, success, successful in certain areas in our life, because we're stubborn in a good way. We could be stubborn in a bad way. That's perception. Hey, whatever. But like it's it's stubborn in a good way. Okay, because we know our our worth, and we know we deserve. And that's just on period. Transformation is victim consciousness pulls you back down to this place. It all pulls you back down to shadow work. Every time they see you into this energy, every time your soul plays itself out and you go into this, you know, you pull yourself back in, bam, you have to do more shadow work because you're pulling, you're calming the fire. You're putting this big rage fire going on in the middle of whatever. And you're throwing in water on it. And look at this. This is water. This is reminiscent of water. 
but you're going in and <clears throat> you're peaceful reflections within to tame that beast to say hey no now hold on now shut your ass up scary cat we're gonna move we're gonna prosper we're gonna succeed in this in these ventures and whatever it is that we're going towards and come out of this thinking because look you got victory you got victory right here you got celebrations you got positive change you got positive influence that is your fire but then here come this water and these cups and somebody, and I was going to say, somebody got some particular water placements that put them in a state of confusion. I would not doubt if it was Pisces. I can't really see it being Cancer or Scorpio. Not saying a Cancer or a Scorpio is not, they'll get confused sometimes. But I feel this being more with Pisces. I'm out of that because you are the line and you have completed too many things. You have let too many things go, okay? People, I have person, so they got to do a person. It could be a water sign that could be holding on to you. They're scared to release this. This is painful for you guys, okay? What is the message for my Leo? More Leo energy. This Knight of Cups is showing again. The Knight of Cups. Emotions, but transforming those emotions to get to this. Staying focused on a prize and not forgetting what you had to let go, even if it was painful. Whether it's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy, it might have to do with love. Hmm. Somebody's taking their time. Somebody is focused on you. This could be a air, I want to say air sign. So possibly it could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But what I was going to say, this could be a water sign. Cancer, or Scorpio, or Pisces. But this person is focused on you. What's that song? I can't sing in my voice. I'm going on with my throat shock. It's called Concentrate on You. Okay, look at it. Knight of Pentacles. This person may be going through some... Um, yep, this is towards a Leo. The Queen of Wands. I forgot it flipped over. Somebody's concentrating. They come... Like, there's a lot of love energy going on. Y'all could be connected to a Gemini. What's the messages for my Leos? That's two Leo in cards. We got the Sun and Queen of Wands. I just want you guys to take notice of that. What's the messages for my Leos? We got the page of wands, perseverance, wrecking up, you know, just taking up. It's like somebody bearing the burdens or, you know, taking everything that they need to get to where they got to go. Page of wands is moving towards the knight of wands, which is fast. So whatever this is, whatever this, whether this is a project, whether this is a person, whether this is a move, whatever this is, this is moving towards a knight of wands. So this person is determined. They may feel a lot of shakiness. This could be a, a lot of healing that had to go on when you were in. A, this could be from some type of healing, okay? Physical element. Somebody probably had an urgery, or, 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 um, an urgery, um, could have surgery or injury. An injury that led to surgery. And, they, and as they're recuperating from this energy and pulling themselves out of this victim victim mentality. Because that victim mentality was probably putting you in the, in the seven of swords. Seven of swords, I can't do this. I don't know how to, I got to figure this out. I have to go towards this. I have to, I can't, I, you know what I'm saying? This soothing the fire. Because this love, this will be... An everlasting love. This will be the one I waited for. This will be the first time everyone has loved me. I know I've kind of messed up the words, but y'all know. The Sagittarius card. We got the Temperance. Yep. As you build this, as you build it up, build it up. We build it up and build it up and build it up, and now we're solid. Do, 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 do. Solid as a rock. This is your higher self. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The thrill is still Okay, This is somebody's higher self with this temperance card. Somebody could have Sagittarius placements. What's the Leo? I mean, what's the messages for my Leo? What is this Sagittarius? This is temperance card. This is communication. I'm open. I'm scared, but I'm going to do this. Somebody could be moving towards this. could be a, this Leo. This could be you if you're a Leo or if you're not a Leo. You got Leo in your son or your... Something about... Somewhere you could have... You got Leo somewhere if you're not a Leo. Completely watching this. You just make... Just resonate with these messages. Sagittarius feels lonely. This temperance energy is lonely. 
What's the messages? You got the will of fortune going towards your goals, making a decision. This is a lot of fire placements, you guys. This thing that put y'all. One, two, three, four, five. Home. Calling. So you feel like home. Somebody might have. Whoever this is, it doesn't have to be a love connection. Just because I'm talking about somebody else, that's not. It's just that you are home to somebody. Somebody may have you even stored in their phone as home. Or you may have somebody stored in your phone as home. Because that's how that's how close you make them feel to their inner world. We got a lot of pages up in here. Didn't I say y'all was carrying yourselves like some pages? But look at this. We got the lover's card, Gemini energy. The Knight of Wands here and more Leo, the counterpart of the Queen of Wands is right there, King of Wands. So you're benefiting from your own knowledge. You're learning from yourself in some way. Some of you guys could be going over some old templates or some old writing or some journals or notes or checks into yourself, right? This is also um, a pinnacle coming from this. Somebody's going towards giving somebody something that they need. This could be a water placement with a fire moon. And so they're able to effectively move. This is cancer energy, Sag energy. The will of fortune is situating yourself towards this. Like some you because you, with sometimes you cycle a lot, right? You cycle a lot going in and coming out, going in, coming out, right? Going going in going in that dark place, going to those dark spaces to do the clearing that you need to do. Because for each sector of your journey, you have to do the effective spiritual work that is needed. And then you come back and it may feel similar to starting all over again. But honestly, you have come a very long way. But your perception sometimes could be limited when you're first coming out of that. So sometimes it takes a second to get completely fully acclimated into understanding what is going on with you. And how you can pull yourself into this four of wands energy. Because some of you guys are making a decision about moving or going somewhere, right? That's beneficial for you. The two of wands deciding on this choice in this decision. And it could have to do with a lover or a soulmate. This person is not considered a, you like somebody could be dealing with somebody who they know is a soulmate. Or they know of the soulmate. This very powerful connection. This is very steamy. And I think like this could be a soulmate who where there was never any sexual stuff that happened, but it's 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 attention. Dun, 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 dun. It's building up. It's building and you know, like I talked about this. This is a dangerous type of connection. It is type of connection that is dangerous. And all y'all could be operating, or both of you guys could be operating. It's a lot of pages up in here. This is a lot of not trusting. This is a lot of Maybe in another week, when we come back and do your reading, you won't be in this page energy. But that's the page of pentacles, the page of cups, and the page of wands. And two knights, the knight of cups and the knight of pentacles. Spreading yourself. Two different people. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Temptation, yep. Somebody is tempted to go towards something that is not for them. And you better pay attention to the signs. Because the temptation is here. And it was right by the Knight of Cups. Whether this is you or somebody else. Okay, it might not be you. It might be somebody else. Okay? But this chariot is ready to move forward. Move functionally forward. There's a lot of joy and happiness. And this needs to be the center of everything. And understanding that joy is here for you. Okay? I think I'm going to pull one more card. And that's it. Let me see one more card for my beautiful Leos. One more card for my Leos, please. Just one more card. One more card. We got new life. We got go the distance. We got coming. Clean it up. Whatever that is for you. Going the distance. I'm sorry. Coming out of the dark space. Remember the shadow work he was talking about. Going the distance and going towards your new life, which is joy. And it could have to do with another Leo or a Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, a Sagittarius or another fire sign, okay? I love y'all.